Okay, everybody. I'm going to not talk here. I'm just going to move through. And this is what I'm going to call pickup truck alley. If you want to get picked up, this is the alley. A Studley pooper truck. I would love to have one. Maybe somebody was going to make this into a hot rod, eh? Old Ford. This V eight. Name that pickup truck. I know somebody knows what it is. This looks very restorable to me. You know, with what they can do nowadays. This is this is nice. Yeah. Trees cause some issues, that's for sure. It's too bad. This one here ate a tree too. But I think the tree's winning. Trees are head on points and we're not even into the seventh round. You know what? God is pointing the way because I didn't know where I was, but I can read a little bit. And I know my wife, she's, she, she's liable to just get up and go without me. So folks, <laughs> I'm gonna go see what my dear sweet better half is up to. Another sedan delivery. Wow, I always wanted one. Oh, I always wanted a sedan delivery in the worst way. That's why I had I did I had two horses. They're kind of a sedan delivery, you know, if you think about it. A one-way delivery. No return rides. Wow. A hay haul. A little rambler. And I think this is a Plymouth. About a 63. And I had one when I was stationed at Fort Knox. And boy, was that thing a piece of crap. Haven't done any Oldsmobiles today, I don't think.
442. I did that yellow 442. I don't know what it is with these pickup trucks, but they love to eat wood. Crazy, huh? You ever see the movie The Day of the Triffids? There's one for you. you got trees. The seeds fall from out of space. They grow into trees that want to they, they move around and eat people. Came out, uh, I'm going to say about 1963. It was a European horror flick. European. I'm on my way out, and there's a whole row up in there I know I haven't done. I know I've missed a lot, but that's just the way it goes. Now, this thing here, you know, it's it's shot. Somebody hauled the engine out of it. I wonder when. But it is worth its weight in gold if you had it. And you could, uh, you know, this one I, I wouldn't want to try to restore. But my sister, and I'm guessing it's about a 63 also, 63, 64. My sister, her husband's family had one of these. A convertible, it was white. And it was parked underneath this barn. They had a big old farm up in Methuen, Massachusetts. And that old Continental was parked underneath in that barn. And that farm was falling apart. They used to um, board horses there for Suffolk Downs, which is a racetrack up in Massachusetts. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's in Massachusetts. And the barn caved in on that car, and that car sat in there for years and years and years. They they drove it in there, backed it in, and it just sat there forever. And I used to, I still have fantasies if things had been different, because they still own that farm. I'm talking this this was back in around 1965. That's you know this car was parked in there. It wasn't that old. It it quit running on them, and they just parked it. It couldn't have been but a few years old. And I used to have fantasies that if I could have gone up there and lived at the farm, because they had a guy they were paying to live there. He didn't do nothing except kind of a caretaker. And if I could have, they would have just let me live there free and give me a, a stipend or whatever you call it for food and, you know, thing, essentials. And then, you know, give me money, as, and I wouldn't be taking advantage of them and have re pulled that guy out and restored that. I always like the, the looks of these cars. I'm just going to guess it's a Falcon or a Mercury Comet. It's a Merc, Mercury Comet. I'm talking a lot of crap here, but the very first time I ever got arrested was in front of the roller skating rink in South Weymouth, Massachusetts. Me and my friends went down there to see this kid I knew. And when I went in there, the roller skating rink, the guys that hung around there, you know, it was every place, every corner place had a, what you call a gang that hanged out. And I went and I asked if Dave was around and they thought we were there to start a fight and they chased us out and the guy that was driving the Comet, he took off and left me there. And then the guys recognized me from the roller skating rink. But I had been drinking, and the cops came, and they took me away. Minor in the possession of alcohol. Well, about done. I got an old cougar I got to go look up. <laughs> got Mustangs, too. I don't know what year this Mustang is. But it's an old school one, and it retired in 1983 or 5. You know, it's got an 85 sticker, so it retired here in 85. I'm going to say it's about a 65, 66. This one's a little newer. And that's a 76. Mmm. Another cougar. That just reminded me of something. I got to get moving, to everybody. Oh, I'm slowing down again. Looking at these Mustangs. I'm going to take a wild stab that this is a 63 Thunder Chicken. My friend, Buddy Mott. 
used to live at 928 Main Street. Everybody that lived in South Weymouth, Massachusetts, you knew the Mott family. Nine kids. It was That was my place to hang out. Their house was a blast. And they bought nothing but Fords. They were the most loyal Ford family in the world. And the Thunderbird is the word. A little more Thunderbird classic door art. The story of how they called these the Thunderbird, look it up. It's an interesting little story behind how they got named Thunderbird. That's exactly how I feel. I feel like I've been riding all night with Elvira and her Thunderbird. And this is where we ended up. Oh, what a night. Question is, do I know my left from my right? Let's see. <laughs> you can't go right. <laughs> Next left is only one way to go. That is good. And I know I made it because I remember looking at that sign. No smoking, please. I quit that dirty habit good 15 years ago. Glad I did. You know, if you all been following me at all, you know I was in the Army and I started running when I was at Fort Hood, and I kept running and running, and I got to be a real good runner, but I still smoked. And all that running over the years, though, made a big difference in my lungs. I got really good lungs still, but it was, even though I was smoking, it was because of the running. Ah, shucks, they're all out. But here you go. I remember as a kid looking at these things. And this actually could be helpful to somebody with an old car. Car. All right. Follow that in your memory box. This is on the way out. There's no cars on this road. But lo and behold, there's a hubcap laying here. I've got to just see what it says. For the fun of it. Futura. Another Cadillac. But this is what I'm... This is just me thinking out loud, which I've been doing all along. Guess what? Corvair. Just looking and walking through here, I would say there's more Fords in here than anything else. You know, Fords top the list and a lot of a lot of Corvairs of course GM makes up a good percentage of it but uh you don't see many Chryslers and I didn't see but a couple of Studebakers they got a few out front let's go look at them all right everybody this is the last car I'm going to take a picture of on this particular video it's one of the longer videos, and um, well, maybe it's not the last one, but then I said Studebaker, and I'm going to make another video by itself of the cars they got out front. The, the cars out front really, you know, like are the best ones, and they're sitting out there so that when you drive by, you say, whoa, whoa, what's that? Let's stop. Let's go look. And I got here it's Saturday, by the way. And this place opens up at nine o'clock. I don't I don't know if they open seven days a week, six days a week or what, but they open up at nine, they close at four, and it cost uh well I already said twenty to come in, twenty-five and they, and they wanted cash. They had no credit, they couldn't take the credit card, and they had an ATM, but the old guy, he didn't know how to use it. I didn't know how to use it. And I said, the hell with it. I'm not going to. And I went and begged and borrowed. My wife was happy because she was going to come in here with me. And she would have been miserable. I know she would. If you guys come here and, and you bring your wife. I'm 71, by the way. And she's 69 years old. She would not have wanted to tramp around this place. I mean, she would have hated me. So 
She, it's way better out. Don't bring your wife here unless she's nuts about old cars and junkyards. There isn't a shopping mall or a beauty parlor close by either, so don't even think about that. More Mustangs. You know, old car city, if guys bring their wives here, it could get also become kind of like divorce city. Give me a D, D. 96 Rock, Atlanta. There might be more vehicles like this in here. I haven't been paying attention, but it's the first one I've seen that they actually tell you what it is. It's a 34 Ford delivery. And they opened this yard up in 1931, so there you go. Might have already shot a video of this, I can't remember. But you don't see them. It's a Plymouth Valiant, but if I didn't know, if I hadn't read the back, I would have thought for sure it was a Rambler. Lots of Mustangs. And thanks for reminding me.